I'm rolling. Hello, my name is Will Mahoney. Welcome to the Hypothetical Nonsense Podcast. Today we talked about red flags and relationships. We talked about speed running life and death. And and we also talked about capitalism. Ah! Ah, okay, stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome to Hypothetical Nonsense, the podcast where everything is hypothetical and nothing is real. Um, today, we're going to be talking about our, uh, not our, but red flags in general, the concepts of red flags. Um, when is it a deal breaker? You know, um, pe- mm. so I wanted to start out with jobs. When you meet someone, you know, you go on a first date, it's going well. You talk about, for some reason, like profession just doesn't get br- brought up or something. You know, you find out maybe second or third date. It's like, oh, wait, wait, like, what, what do you do? Yeah. Um, First, um, at what point, like, th- thinking about, like, this being your partner, you know, mm-hmm. um, how do you feel about them being a, um, like, a YouTube YouTuber? Like, <laughs> okay, well, okay. <laughs> like, like a, like, m- talks like Mr. Beast, like, I just did this, and we're going to be seeing how this happens. In real life? In real life? No, no, no. They're they're just like in cool. The video. Just in the video, you see the but you see them like just snap into character and like that's their that's their job. You know the, how many subscribers do they have? Like fifty thousand. That's it. Yeah, so they're not like huge, but they're like they, that's their passion. That's what they need. Oh, then that's a big no no. If they have like millions of subscribers, I'm like that's just their job. But if it's not a job, like it's literally not a job. Well, it's paying. They have like a Patreon, and they make probably like a they they can pay some bills. You know, oh, like they're making that's a, different. They're making probably like two two grand a month off that. But their passion is hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Minecraft uh speed run of PvP. If that's their passion. Minecraft speed run of PvP. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my, Minecraft videos. Oh, the Minecraft speed. Yes, <laughs> I have, PvP. Seen, of PvP. I have if, seen that if video. If that's their passion, I, I don't know what's going on behind those eyes. Not a lot, I uh, assume. Minecraft. <laughs> no, that's what they consume, too. That's what they watch. Yeah, no, no, no. That's a, that's a no-no. That's a no. It's a no for me. That's a red flag. That's like a, like, no matter how good the days went. Well, if well, he's brilliant and this just happens to be a defect, I'd be like, oh, I have to study this. <laughs> well, if the question is then he's like, they're just a YouTuber, but I, I'm in love with them and they're incredible. Uh, the answer would be yes. Yeah. But if it's just someone that I see, like we're friends and maybe there's a connection there. I think at some point it would get a little, little grating. Yeah. Not because, it's just because I don't, that's not really the things that I watch. I, I wouldn't be able to watch their videos. But, like, by this point, like, third day, you don't know if you're in love with them, but, like, things are going really good. Is this, like, a point where, is this, like, a point where you're, like, yeah, like, I'm going to stop it right here? Oh, well, if it's going really well, I don't think that really affects me so much that I have to break things off. Yeah. Like, it's just a job. What profession would? That, like is would, there a would, would make you be like, like killer maybe okay killer. well actually that's what i went to i was like if they're like a detective and they investigate like s- serial murders like they're a homicide detective then i'd have to reconsider like our relationship because i feel like that's like fucked yeah i don't think there's a really a profession that'll get me like to break up with someone maybe yeah. i think like if i was if i was dating a police officer i don't think I just can't hear about it. Mm, yeah, but I, had be- to, I had to kill somebody today. <sighs> All right. God, nice. Let damn. me bring the YouTuber back. <laughs> yeah. Like, let's do some Minecraft <laughs> PvP <laughs> yeah. or something. Let's speed run. Why did you speed run the death of someone? I'm I'm okay ooh, with that. Ooh. Damn. I'm, I'm fine with not, like, being a part of that. Not being okay. complicit in, like, the... Is okay. No. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like, justification, you know? I'm good. But, yeah. okay, YouTube... Like, if they're a YouTuber, right? So you say, yes, I'm going to keep going on dates and see how things go. Now y'all are at a point where you're, like, considering getting married. <laughs> you know, all like, right. Did like, their subscriber like, count years, jump up at all? How many years it, have gone by? Okay, a couple years have gone by. They're from 50 to maybe 150K. Dang. Only oh, 150? You said, you said a couple years? Yeah. They yeah. should at least be at a million now. But it's, like, a really steady upwards. They're consistently bringing in a little bit more money every month to the... Household. I'm going to do the, the conversion rate is if they're they have 50,000 subscribers and their Patreon is netting them 2000 a month. I'm just going to multiply that by three. So they're making six thousand dollars a month. Yeah. Yeah. In a couple years. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. I don't That's so cool. it's, I don't it's just about the money. Like how much? That's six it, figures, I think. Yeah. Six thousand dollars a month. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm good with around. that. Around. Listen, if someone can get me. <laughs> that much. If, a- around. If someone can get me property in a remote part of Maine on the water. I don't care. I do not care what they do. Yeah, I don't. If 
illegal. If the YouTuber, I hate them, I'm not going to date them. If I love this person and they're just a YouTuber, it might be a little annoying. Yeah. But... I can live with that. But at what point? Okay, then y'all get married, you know, okay. 10 years down the road, you know, YouTube just isn't cutting Now it's it not anymore. hitting? Now it's, you know, y'all are like 40. He needs a job now. They need yeah, they job need a now. job. They have no, like, they were set on, like, this being their career and their life. And now y'all are 40. I saw and this he's coming. Still making ro- and he's still making Minecraft videos. Mm-mm. They are still making Minecraft videos. <laughs> From the time that I met them, I'd be like, this isn't forever. And they'd be like, no, 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 it is. Like, you can you can definitely do, look at Skydas Minecraft. He's like 50. No, you need to find a hobby. We should do arts and crafts. We should start on a another option for you. So like, if we're married and Minecraft videos stop hitting, we have already banked another career on the side. That's, that's the work that we do together. Okay. I do have another question about this though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're dating a YouTuber and you have a public relationship, People will comment on your relationship. Yeah. Do you yeah. think that would affect your decision to date them? Ooh, am I? Well, it depends if I'm a YouTuber. That's, that is a good point. It depends if But I'm, you are a YouTuber. So this is me. In real so this life. is you. Okay. Um, and, and this is assuming they're like, okay. Assuming you're like they're public. public they want to be public. And whenever you're like, I don't want to tell people about it. They get upset. They're like, why are you not proud to be with me? I'm like, no, I just don't want people commenting on our relationship. And they're like, Fuck you. So you have to be public. That's like kind of a thing in the relationship. And then people will just like comment. I, I've done that. I can handle it. You can? Actually, I I probably couldn't, but I'd figure it out. Wasn't it weird? It sucked. It sucks a lot, it right? Sucked. Yeah. It's like I still get comments about it. that's still like still the first thing when you look up my name. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, I wonder what their sex is like. What why is this what they're going probably to? Like a speed run of PvP. Right. Like speed run of PvP. <laughs> I P- think that of PP. If if we were at the beginning of the relationship, like rewind back to the like three dates and things are going well, if they wanted to go public, I just I want to keep I want to keep my personal separate. I think. Yeah, I think that's actually a red flag. Being a YouTuber, I don't think it's necessarily a red flag to me. The red flag is no, we got to do some couple. Yeah, we yeah. got to do some stuff. And mm. It's like I agree. I don't really want people in my business, my personal business. What if you're I'm broke? Okay. In the couples content that y'all, y'all you try it once and it bangs, like it's like you know break you're you're doubling income. Oof. I just don't want to be. I don't want to be a YouTuber. D- 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 this is what <laughs> we're going to be discussing after the podcast. <laughs> oh. But but yeah, that that's a that's a hard decision. I mean, I think it's funny if you can take advantage of the hype around a relationship to to fuck with people. If you're like, we're getting married, and then we invite all these other YouTubers to the YouTube wedding, mm. and then it's not a real wedding, but you just like film the whole thing. And you so just you try to make it around. creative. Yeah, you would make your relationship like an object that you can you can play with, but that's not actually a reflection of your, your mm, real relationship. Of your real relationship. Yeah. I would say no. I just don't want to be a YouTuber. <laughs> Yeah, that's valid. I especially don't want to be a couples YouTuber where Couple. I'm print, like putting Orbeez in her period tampons. All right, like, I'm okay with that. I'm wow. Wait a minute, that's a good idea. <laughs> Never mind. We'll God. get back to that. I was actually studying before this. I was I was <laughs> looking research. at a lot of prank channels and. Did that happen? I think worse. I've seen like pun- punching a baby in public prank. Yeah, I've seen like leaving my kid outside in a hot yeah. car prank. What if that's <laughs> the kind of YouTuber what, they are? I saw one yesterday that was um, pretending to to convince to get my nephew to stick a fork in an outlet yeah. in, in public. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If that's the kind of YouTuber you're dating, like uh, harassing women on the street as a joke prank on sexual, if that's the person you're dating, they're like a Ooh, normal wait, person. I, uh, no, they're a they, normal, intelligent person, but they're like, you got to do this because this is how you make bank on YouTube. Would you be able to handle that? No, because the negative, the negative effects, mm-hmm. just like socially. Yeah. yeah. You're dating this horrible person online. Yeah. I know there's a divide between the online persona and the, but I, I can't like, I just don't have. So what this. is the negative? Like, is it like just harming other people with the pranks or is it like. It's both. They, what they're doing. The pr- second. They're doing pranks that are harming other people. Yeah. And maybe they're good in real life, but their online persona, that's all anyone else sees yeah so if i'm dating the shit bag who's leaving their nephew in the hot car with an outlet and a fork mm-hmm. <laughs> i don't care if they're a saint in real life no one and, and we're public too yeah no one likes me yeah and no one likes them 
There's just no, there's no. Well, point. people obviously do like them, but people eat that content up. People that shit gets millions of views. But those are the views. Those are the negative views. Okay, that's the th- like. No one is really like, hey man, I fuck with your killing your nephew prank. No, <laughs> yeah, nobody. but is what is what is harming it more? Is that more harming or like making kids content that like rots our like children's brains? Uh-uh. What wait what? It, give me an example like, of that. Like what if they made like if they were just really. I don't know any kids content I feel like I was about to say I'm like very opposite of all of this where I'm like any content for children I just don't know it's bad I need an example I don't know any kid like Coco Melon have you seen like the content farm stuff where it's like randomly generated 3d animations it would be like a, a Pikachu is fighting uh I don't know like Rainbow Dash and it's randomly generated 3d animations that get like 15 million views because kids are just like I need to keep watching the colors. That I think is is objectively bad and exploitative and frightening. Um, but you make bank doing that. Yeah, I've, I've never, I've never seen that before. It's an interesting yeah. phenomenon. But That's, I guess I guess Minecraft, like targeting towards kids via Minecraft or Roblox, is a little bit more tame than that. Would yeah. you date Dream? Stop. <laughs> 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 moving on okay away straying away from the youtuber um you know it's it seems like when you settle down with a person that it's like it's important that they have like a what what, what? that they have do you want do, i have water can i have water yeah thank you um <laughs> i guess i'm gonna I'm just list no, a few you, uh, mess with the mic. oh shit okay um, Who is it? Let's all mess with our mics, and then it could just pop all three oh. of us. Was it that? Um, oh. <laughs> mm, water. Did you expect something different? It's cold. Oh, oh the, yeah. It's fresh. The way you were trying to secretly get water <laughs> makes it seem like we're not allowed to have water, <laughs> like in the office. Please. You had to do like a hand signal, like. Yeah, it seems like you were hiding it from us. Like, we're the ones we're to, stopping you. I just <laughs> want to distract from the conversation. <laughs> that distracted more. No, no, no. no I mean, uh, no. Water? <laughs> and it's thirsty. Um, moving on. Uh, what about, like, uh, um, like a street performer? Is that, like, compared to YouTuber? No, Wait, just what like, kind of street performer? Um, Let's say caricature artist. I guess that's kind of different. You, you know the what? people on the street who are always edging the performance. Like, they'll be like, we about to jump over seven people. Yeah, that. <laughs> Everybody come around. We about to jump over. <laughs> we about to jump over seven people. More people. If y'all come, we about to jump. We about to jump over seven people. Yeah. And that happens for five hours. If that's what they do on the weekend as like a hobby, fine. Hobby? No, that's how <laughs> they... that's their career, what, what do we talk about? Like, what if they're just a genius and then th- this is the only way that they survive? You have a lot of hope that these people are g- secretly geniuses. Because what else be. do you talk about? Like, if the, if the you, you're like the YouTuber, well, what if they're Freud? Or what if they they're could. like Einstein level No, not that kind of genius. IQ. I just mean we're talking about, like, behaviors that seem bizarre. And I would hope that these people There's are something else. In, not just intelligent, but, like, conscientious. Because it sounds like this person has no self-awareness. So when I say genius, I just mean someone that has self-awareness. Like, they know yeah. what they're doing is a bit off and if they do and yeah. they continue to do it and they have good reasons to do it that's very interesting and i i, I see that as a a kind of genius so yeah if they're a street performer and they know what they're doing it's meaningful and i can understand that then yeah then I, i'm all right with it i guess that's your point about the prank videos like it has a bunch of views like yeah. obviously someone sees value in this yeah and i guess where is the line between like are you self like are you aware that this is weird or on the flip side, nothing's weird about this because there's a hundred people, people around like me it. wanting to see me like almost jump over somebody. <laughs> well, that's different. That one's like kind of manipulating an audience. Oh yeah, that that is that yeah. I think by definition is exploitative. Yeah, like they yeah. are. It's like the TikTok lives where it's like I was about to say I'm gonna put the cake layer on <laughs> if I get seven thousand viewers. We hit seven thousand viewers. Oh, I dropped the cake. <laughs> so why is he getting <laughs> Bulgarian? Okay, sorry. <laughs> I was about to say like like um adjacent those people that are um that do those TikTok lives there are some that are like I've seen one where someone was like pouring syrup on their head and they're like every time someone joins my live I have to do this 
don't join and then like i swear to god i see so many like that and um there are so many different genres of lives now they're like i i'd be on tiktok too much this but, is insanity but this i is screen sick. record some because there's there's some where um it'll be like a girl and and she'll be like if i'm holding this water bottle that means i my, i think my co-host is cute if i'm holding this one i think that they're boring and like telling them to join the live i've seen ones that are like oh like um I'm here with my cousin and we're going to kiss on the live. I've seen those. This I've is seen why those. I'm, I'm like, moving to like... the woods. This is why I'm moving to the woods. This is insanity. So two things to expand on that. Would you date one of those street performers? Because it's both exploitation. Yeah. Date yeah, one of yeah. those street performers or would you date one of those TikTok like, live Like, would you people? rather? Would you rather? Oh, yes. fuck. Would you rather do the TikTok live? Like, I'm going to... They never kiss their cousin, but the fakers no. or the fakers on the street? That might not even be their cousin. Mm. It's just like fake shit. No, no, no. They're they're like definitely just. Girlfriend I think it boys. takes yeah. talent yeah. to to bark up a crowd. I okay. don't think it it's takes any cur- talent to threaten to kiss your cousin. So on you're the you're picking the fake street performer because it yeah. takes more courage. Yeah, because like, they have a bold. presence. They're like, come get gather around as opposed yeah. to what if I diddled my cousin? Wouldn't that be gross, guys? Mm. They're more like they're obviously charismatic if they could. Yeah, get- they're charismatic. What is incest? Incest is not charisma. <laughs> no. No, I've seen one and um, <clears throat> I've seen a lot of them. <laughs> All right. And oh, I don't want to say this. OK, no, never mind. Um, I, I okay. see lives. Just of, say it and then we'll cut it. OK, I see. I see lives of um, like it's they're playing Minecraft and the goal is to like build layers of different blocks. And mm-hmm. anytime that someone gifts a TNT is dropped in the game, like automatically. That's and, cool. I think I think that's cool, too. Yeah. Um. It's like interactive and stuff, but and and um, yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, where's the bad part? No, it's I was just gonna say nowhere. that I've seen probably five or six of them, and but, so would you date one of those guys? Yeah, because I, I appreciate the dedication because they'll be there like, um, I've scrolled like uh, like different times throughout this day and see the same dude live just sitting there just building. It's like just just it's like that Sisyphus <laughs> meme mm. of the. It's just like. Oh, he just keeps placing blocks yeah. and people just keep blowing it up and he just keeps yeah. placing it all day. Sisyphus That's it. meme. Yeah. That's so interesting. That's a thing though. Have you seen meme? those? That's, meme is just another word for myth now. I like that a lot. For myth? Yeah. Because Sisyphus, Sisyphus yeah. that's a myth. Yeah, but he's yes. referring to the meme the of meme. the myth. Yeah, but yeah, the, it's yeah. a continuation. I like to think that memes are now myths. Does this stuff not <laughs> bother you? Doesn't myth. it frighten you to see stuff like this? To see like humans behaving in such odd ways <laughs> i'm so stuck on like calling like replacing the word meme with like myth with myth <laughs> meme busters no. no meme busters is crazy <laughs> no but, it, but it's Let's true because what, what, is what is a meme what is a meme but myth. just a, yeah. a, a it's no, a meme. symbol that represents a lore that's associated with culture on the internet and a myth is you know a symbol or a story or lore that's associated with a culture that well, yeah. you can't um, remember the origins but a myth, well i think a myth inherently isn't a real thing yeah it's like untrue yeah memes are real yeah they're, yeah like yes. a dude like the bra sound effect that dude said bra, bra. is real Brother myth? What? The myth of bra. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Maybe the, the myth of fuck yeah. no baby. <laughs> <laughs> the myth of oh hell no. Oh, oh. These are these are these are mythological. No, they're memological. <laughs> memological entities. Damn. The myth of twenty one. <laughs> <laughs> the myth of wonky slush. <laughs> <laughs> wonky slush. Language is deteriorating, <laughs> but it's really funny to watch it do it. God damn it! Wonky okay. slush. But what does it mean? What does what is the value and significance of wonky slush? What does There's it nothing. mean? It sounds funny. It just sounds funny. That's like all music, though. Like what music? The, what? No, I'm saying like everything that we value as a culture. If we really boil it down, music it's just is noises. just this sounds good. It just sounds that are rearranged in a way. Like this, just like if we're really gonna boil it all down, Walkie Slush is fun. Well, it's not funny. <laughs> it's, it, actually, it actually has roundabout went around to being funny because of how not funny music, it is. There's like mathematics behind music. Like there, there is both psychological and like scientific. Like you could probably do that with me. I was too. just about to with say if we, probably, if we right? dedicated a practice to memeology, that would yeah. be I feel like that we would could be mathematically break slu- it down. They, they they pinpoint the exact like decibels and like uh, frequencies that make it a meme because yeah. things with music music too like genres of music all come around like what's culturally rele- relevant at the time 
you know like like no, same as as with memes like but we listen to music because we consume it to to enjoy a song you put like bruh or wonky slush into a video not to enjoy it the way you enjoy a song why are you using it like you're communicating something but what is it that you're communicating it's like an empty it's like saying like it's like an empty ism well i don't think so because take for example like like a show like the office yeah they add a little gym, a little gym flourish. Right. Like mm. just to like emphasize the joke. Sure. Yeah. A bruh or a walkie slush or mm? yeah. like, these, <laughs> are like, these are joke <laughs> emphasizers. Okay. Mm -hmm. I so I don't think like also kind of has a a purpose in a sentence because it's like a it's it's literally silence filler. Sure. Yeah. It's just to not have like a, a <clears throat> some dead air there. Yeah. So it's the same thing with like a bruh. It's just to like emphasize that joke. Okay. Just to give it some punch. Mm. It is very musical in that way. I think so. I okay, that's definitely depends because I don't see anyone just. Well, I guess walkie slush. I don't know if that's really a because you're slush. thinking more sound effects at yeah, this point I think, than like. Well, a, a walkie. I, I've heard walkie slush used yeah, like yeah. A, as a joke, like a bruh almost. Yeah. But yeah. you've seen that that young. It's a girl. She's like six years old, and she's speaking perfect Japanese, and she's eating sushi, and then all of a sudden she drops her chopstick, and she goes bruh, <laughs> like speaking perfect Japanese, and then bruh, and it's I, just so funny. For whoever's editing this, I hope we can add that in because I've never seen that. Oh, before. it's really interesting. It's it's genuinely hilarious because she's just this cute little girl and then she bro <laughs> <laughs> that's funny um so would you date a bra girl or a bra girl, bra girl? A bra i've heard this before heard bra a bra girl or a girly girl what is a bra girl like a tomboy i think a girl i, I like think a, it just originated like girls that say bra <laughs> what kind of girl am i true i think you're like bo borderline bra girl <laughs> But kind of in your own kind of ominous thing. Uh, you got the category. You got BBG, <laughs> borderline bra girl. Damn. But you got like you're sneaky, like also in this like ominous third category too. That is what is this ominous well, third category? There's BBG and you got <laughs> BPD. Mental illness. You got BPD, which yeah, is bra I think that's personality. It. Yeah. I think it's a hint of autism. Yeah, yeah, hint of autism. I'll wow. give it to you. I'm sure it is. Was it that? I just want to make sure that these, that like, those are like, you've said oh, yeah, that you th have this a hint This is not him just saying you have autism because it's funny. I think th we've, we've talked about this. I've been accused. Of been accused? <laughs> so this is a negative <laughs> thing. Okay. I have been, I have been accused addressed as crazy. <laughs> like the Salem witch declared. trials. And I've been declared as autistic <laughs> by two separate physicians. We but at it the was, town hall meeting declare that Caroline. But it was an accusation. It wasn't like, I think this is a diagnosis of autism. It was like, hmm, that is that's quite autistic of you. You know, you could no. Uh, no. Are these <laughs> trained professionals? These are. This? this is a psychiatrist, and then this is a, a psychologist. Okay. Uh, and and both of them were like, hmm. can they go? Can they do that? Can they like? Yeah. Can, no, no, no. Yeah. No, 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 no. Why not? Can they retroactively like? They can be like. Do you have? A, never mind. Yeah. Never. Mind. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's the process of diagnose. Th that that's the thing. This is why I, I you know psychology is a very young art form and science and field of medicine. And so yeah, they can be like, I feel like it, yeah. Oh, I'm sensing a little here and there. You've done some things that are a little yeah. autistic. It's but confusing. then again, you make me laugh so hard. So maybe there's because with the psychiatry, mm -hmm. it's like it's less um, like. If you break a bone, you can look at an x-ray and you like, it's obviously that you broke a bone. Oh, yeah. But it, w with psychiatry, it's a lot more like word it's and personality. It's their opinion. Like, it seems it's like it's their an opinion. opinion. They're like, and there is a lot of research and data that goes into pinpointing specific behaviors that would suggest that you have a, a certain condition. But yeah. sometimes it really is the psychiatrist are just like, you seem sad. And then sometimes you, you seem happy. <sighs> Let's put you on lithium and then just like fucking That's figure real. it out. My, my, um. I, cause I was prescribed uh, Adderall for ADHD. Yeah, during school, everyone was. I just wanted it like, and it was really easy to get, like crazy easy. Like mm -hmm. I literally just like, um, and I just I didn't want to use it like every day. It was more just for like tests and shit. Sure. Honestly. And <clears throat> so I, I just set up an appointment, and the dude was like, "Yeah, like uh, ask me a few questions." I was like, "Yeah, you can pick up your prescription today." And I was like, yep. "Damn!" And then a few weeks later, we had like a checkup kind of meeting, and he was like, "Do you have like any like?" um anxiety or, or, oh, no. or anything it's i was like i was like yeah i mean like sometimes yeah like i don't think it's debilitating and he's like well why don't we try lexapro like why don't we like, why don't we like Search like just put you on i'm like what like are you trying to like 
like put me on to like like i don't get it like Bro, trying to put you psychiatry yeah. is real it's real but doctors in america are are incentivized to prescribe certain medications because yeah. they 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 get money to he, do it. it felt like he was a dealer yeah no that's he was just a dealer he was like yeah like what you want they'll just like, they'll just sort of throw it in the problem is that if you do if you do get diagnosed with something that is like bipolar disorder um no, it, it's hard to say, but there there are instances where they can just sort of tack on medications and it doesn't necessarily help you treat symptoms. It's just sort yeah. of like, let's just see. Do they really get kick, kickback from that though? I don't. Yeah. Yes, they do. Yeah, they like do. Like they're incentivized You get to... samples. They'll get samples from uh, pharmaceutical companies and they'll be like, just hand these out to some people. And then once you hand them out, if you hand out like an antipsychotic, the person has to stay on it. You can't just take it for a week and be like, that's not working for me. I'm going to get off of it. So they they get samples and then yes you 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 do there are incentives to prescribe certain medications. But I I guess my my question would be why so we we can't in the same breath be like yes this is real but then at the same time be like all the doctors are incentivized to give you fake medicine. It That's, depends on corrupt. your doctor. It depends on your doctor. It's it's a it's a very c confusing field. It's a it, current It is real but there's like just the nature of yeah. The pharmaceutical companies and capitalism that there, there's going to be benefits for, yeah. you know, stimulating like getting getting people on medication like they want us yeah. to use their medication. But people will yeah. make this argument and it goes too far sometimes because you'll hear people that are like you were you don't really have cancer. The doctors are just saying that. So you take medication, use holistic Eastern medicine, like eat cinnamon and do crystals and you'll be fine. So there, there is a line. We've talked about this before. There is a line where you have to believe in modern medicine but sometimes sometimes there are situations where, where you will get taken advantage of and th this yeah. is a very modern problem like within the last 10 20 years really 10 years this has be become a a big problem um mm. but anyways <clears throat> i don't even know how we yeah. got i don't even remember what we were yeah. talking about yeah I, th I think i think people taking advantage of other people with the incentive like the the same sort of doctor incentive that you guys are saying i don't know if that's a like a modern issue like we could probably go back to biblical times where like yeah. the sheep herder was like yeah if i give you some some sheep fart like i yeah. get a little kickback from it <laughs> like there's probably some like one-to-one <laughs> no, one one comparison that's not the problem it's just that people were not taking previously it was not culturally acceptable to take medication but now it's like yeah i take medication it's not mm. a problem so more people are going to psychiatrists and so this is the modern problem in that it's good that mental health is being addressed and that people are more willing to look into uh, treatment for whatever ails them it's just that that institution has not progressed with the times and so it still is archaic in, in some ways antiquated and and can be exploitative that that part is new just yeah. the culture and the field not linking up with each other i'm scared for all the doctors all the one doctor or zero doctors that watch this podcast like what the hell are y'all talking about <laughs> no like, but they're but they they know everyone knows everyone knows i think this is real and this also, is real i no, i'm not i'm i don't think it's not real but i i think if i would let me put on my doctor suit for a second if i was Dr. a doctor Sammy. I'd be like, well, hold on. Yeah. This is a very generalized way of talking about this. Like, I feel like there's got to be some nuance to this. Like, I, it, it, yeah. it can't just be Definitely. like, you're getting 50% if I prescribe you farts of poop. And I'm just going to prescribe that to you because I, I get money from it. I would it. like to believe that. I really would. It's it's just, I, you know. Then <clears throat> I, mean, I would even, like to believe that. Like, I've like seen it ha like what's good with my psychiatrist like what why was he like advertising me a medication for for something that I never even brought up like I never talked about having anxiety or anything like I'm I, like hearing that I was like you definitely like this isn't for no reason like they there's fish. no way that you don't you get fish. something out of this you know yeah, <laughs> so yeah. I, I, I do believe it is nuance it's just that there are aspects of it where if a culture was completely different and and capitalism was a little different you would not have some of these behaviors that are normalized now. Yeah. Can we get a cha-ching sound effect in the on our soundboard on our? I don't believe in discussing soundboard? capitalism. Can we get a hypothetical nonsense soundboard and then put a uh, walkie slush and then a, um, <laughs> a fucking some other myths on there? I'm just I'm just on <laughs> I'm I'm just on hope. I'm I'm high on hope. Me too. I, I want I want to or at least I want to believe that the institutions that we have aren't just like 
completely corrupt and destructive. Yeah. And <coughs> every, what were they built? Is, At what time were they were they ever reformed? They were built on old archaic values and they were not really changed or modernized. And the culture modernizes far quicker than these institutions do. So that's why I'm sort of like, yeah. I have hope. I genuinely have hope that things will change. It's just that it's not like institutions that we, we currently have are going to be ass. like, let's just completely change ourselves. Because when we no. say it's something like constitutional, isn't the const like, that's talking about like a 300 year old piece of paper, right? Yeah, but the whole is point it, of it. Has it been edited? It's a living document. So the point of the constitution is that you can. Does it change? I don't know shit about politics. You add things to it and you take Can you remove away. things? You can remove things. When's the last time Not something's from the been constitution, removed? But no, but the point of the constitution is just like you guys can you guys can figure that that's the constitution. Figure it out. Is yeah, it? This just sounds like we don't know what we're talking about. I don't. I just <laughs> said I don't. But we're, we're, no, we, I, no, I, But this is a longer conversation to get into and the constitution in and of itself that is a Let's just start over. Let's just let's just that move is away. a that's a that is a hey guys loaded, welcome to hypothetical nonsense the podcast where that's a nothing diaper. is real the, the, yeah the, the podcast where everything the is podcast fake. where we're not giving any advice whatsoever <laughs> and we're not giving you any information that you we're should listen to we're not telling you to go to the Capitol nothing is on real you. what what well that is my hope. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right. So, uh, red flag YouTubers and nah, uh, whatever TikTok live scammers, like no, uh, no. Okay. Head. Um, I'm curious what you guys think about because we're in our early 20s. You know, we're when you know dating people and stuff. Probably there's a chance to run into someone who's just like, um, very much like parents' money. You know, mm. like someone who. <clears throat> who has room to pursue their dreams just being completely funded by, you know, generational wealth. And that's like, um, at what point is there a disconnect? Because, um, you know, I, I don't want to speak for all, all of us, but at least I personally have not, <laughs> don't come from, uh, you know, generational wealth. And, it's, yeah. <clears throat> and I'm, uh, you know, um, would that get annoying? Would, it, would there just be like a, is that like a red flag or a deal breaker for either of you? Their money? Well, I guess to a certain point, I I'm, I guess like dating and things aren't really working out, but they're still getting money from, like if they're like a singer, you know? Sure. Oh, I see what you're saying. If they're a singer. Okay, I, I see what you're saying. And they don't okay. really, and it's not really going anywhere. And you're just like, they don't really know what they're doing. They're just like, I'm going to be a singer and I'm living from, from rent from my parents, you know? Mm. How do you have a conversation with people like that? Because I feel like they're missing half of, reality because i've met quite a lot of those people quite I, a lot. I don't know and a lot of the times it's just it, it's a i've never met someone in that exact situation <sighs> there uh, there's like one person that is just a caricature of this example that i i can't i'll show you later but like it's bizarre she's would you a, date them no but she's a dj and she's like on yachts and she thinks that she's famous but she's not and well she's on like, yachts but i'm like no. <laughs> i couldn't get on a <laughs> yacht like, that's, the I that's the thing it's her it's because her she's she's very 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 wealthy is it her yacht no it's her dad's yacht oh okay but i'm just sort of like y you are both delusional and not delusional because these things are happening for you but they're not yours but you think that they're yours or, yeah, i don't yeah, know yeah. what goes on behind those eyes mm -hmm. That's the only thing. Mm, getting like getting success like handed to you um, versus like working for success. Is that something that's like a, I don't know, a deal breaker? Like, is that something like talking through like um, if you want someone that's goal oriented? I'm, I'm just speaking for you all though. That's just my own <laughs> personal. No, no, wait. Then what's your answer first? Because <clears throat> it seems like you have your, I obviously you, you have your answer. Bias. I definitely want somebody someone who, goal goal oriented who had to, <laughs> someone who had to work five, for the five money. brunette I don't know why. <laughs> okay. what? well endowed make a woman okay what wow okay now we're getting to the endowed portion of the podcast well endowed not hey guys like, welcome to hypothetical endowment right. the podcast hypothetical endowment. <laughs> welcome back to minecraft speedrun pvp well this is the thing i've been around first of all God, grew up around that that's most of my synagogue are people like that oh, and, and when you talk to your parents about it, like i had a conversation about nepotism where i was like you're gonna get you're gonna call up somebody from a, a investment firm or whatever it was and then ask them to give your son an internship isn't that cheating and they're like no it's not cheating i'm giving my son an opportunity i work for it and so that he doesn't have to yeah yeah and i'm like 
uh, what does that yeah. do to your kid though? I know. Like I, I get it from their perspective, but I'm like, yeah. what the fuck does that do to their kid? Yeah, not good. If I if I was rich as fuck, yeah, yeah. Um, give me like a, a few years. Um, <laughs> and I had a child. Like I'd I'd at least have that child like work a job at 16. You know, like work at a, like a fucking whatever Carl's Jr. No, but they're like, that's a waste of time. You got to get them first in the college, and then what? you need to get in an internship. That's before college, and they should be. No, Actually, no, they they have to they have to in get into school? a good college. You need to get them to do tutoring oh. and all this. Stuff. There's a whole thing. There's a track. Oh. There's a track. But I guess if you're like spending the time that you would be, if you're spending the time that you would be at a job tutoring and, and working on academics, then to I get understand. into school, it's not like you're actually getting an education. You're just getting tutoring oh. to do the SATs to well, get into school. But they, that I, in and of itself is an education, no? Yeah. I, yeah, I think it has a similar effect as like working a job. It's just so you don't like you know after school. You're not just like at home, like yeah. chilling all day, like doing nothing. I do you think it's okay to do that though? I think it's okay to just do nothing sometimes. I think it's important, at least for like your child to like have some sort of like if they do sports, like sure, I get that. sure. If they, if they're like really like spending a lot of their time after school just doing sports sure. or they're a jazz, they're in jazz band. You know, I think that's good for the brain. But if they're just going home and just fucking around and like doing whatever, I don't think they're gonna even. I don't think they're gonna make the decision at from such a young age to like do something productive with their self. Also, like just like in retrospect, like all the times that I've kind of sat around doing nothing, I feel like that kid will have the same thought of like, "Oh shit, I wish I was doing something." Yeah, like I wish I like played more of an instrument, or like I wish mm -hmm. I did chess club or something. Yeah, yeah. Because we we remember the moments that uh, are occupied with something. Mm -hmm. We never remember like when we sat around and ate chips. Well, it, if I'm watching Walkie Slush, I'm gonna remember oh, that. Oh, then I'm gonna remember that, of course. But yeah. if there's no Walkie Slush on, and I'm just <laughs> laying down eating my Walkie chips. I don't think like that's just the. I can't, that's yeah. Not in, that's, yeah. That's not it. I don't. I, that's not enriching. But I don't even <laughs> really know. I don't know my thoughts on like the uber wealthy because yeah, like yeah, yeah. you, I am not even close yeah, yeah. to any sort of generational wealth whatsoever. Yeah. But when I, when I hear like this kid went through, t uh, sorry, bless you. When, <laughs> when I hear like people going through a tutor and like, what's happening? What? Yeah, was it Did I look when I, no, no, no. I, I, uh, I, what are you doing? <laughs> when, when you hear, like when I, when I hear people talk about like, I tutored all day and all night and I'm a 5.0 GPA and blah, 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 blah. I don't really have a grasp on like what that looks like. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's negative or positive. Yeah. I just don't know what I, I, I feel like on paper there's value. I think it depends how you do it. I think yeah. it could like definitely instill some like some discipline and just like hard yeah. work and also showing like anything that shows that hard work does equal like success yeah i just don't because i i've never been in that like super rich yeah like, yeah yeah mindset when i hear people talk about it and some people are like yes this is negative mm -hmm. i guess i never hear why is it negative you know For yeah them to have opportunities yeah i never hear why this is negatively affecting people well, I, I always hear that it is you mean specifically the wealth part or specifically the like the, tutoring like just the like rigorous like Educa lifestyle of it all like the education and like going through all these classes and this is a specific this is a specific genre though. of rich yeah like this is like, this the, is like a the the oil money like you have to go to harvard right now yeah like I mean, I've I've seen it. Yeah, I don't I don't know I don't know if it's a it's a bad thing. I just know that like I don't know if it's the specifically the money, but I think that it's like the I don't know because I I dated a girl in high school that like whose parents had a lot of money, yeah. and I remember that just created like a weird tension and just like like fundamental we weren't able to understand each other in the way that like. I think both of us wanted just because of like <clears throat> of fi financially it was just like you don't have to that's not that's not something you've ever had to worry about and that's not something you ever will have to adjust your actions to because you need to worry about yeah. it so it's like it's a it's it's like a little bit of like yeah i don't know but there, there's like there's struggles with that too like <sighs> I, I think it's difficult to just be with someone who is so like diametrically opposed yeah with you Mm -hmm. Like, even outside of finance, it's like, 
dating someone else who has a different religion than you is difficult because that's mm-hmm. a fundamental disagreement of how the world of was created. <laughs> like how the world of why works. we're here and yeah, exist and why what we're here we what we're supposed to do. While we're here, yeah. Yeah, like and I think yeah, that, yeah. yeah, that's just another aspect. Like I'm super rich, you're not super rich. Like we're just very different the and it, there's just are. a lot of work that you have to put into and mm. it's just a lot of work but but here's the thing here's the thing they're gonna get inheritance so wouldn't you stick around for that i guess what? I because mean, because this is this what? is what i'm saying this is what i'm saying this is what i'm saying listen yes there's differences but that money could be your money if you play your cards right that's and crazy. that's what i you know think about every time i meet someone I'd, i've never had um generational wealth Mm -hmm. but three weeks ago i learned just from a random phone call from my grandma that that, like my great great grandpa on uh my white side of the family is um (laughs) um, 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 we have a whole like flashing red like white alert white (laughs) alert what the fuck why why did you so on the white side of your family what i don't know like that it's a little they were from like was like a uh had like a paper company in wisconsin Dunder Mifflin? That's <laughs> literally what I thought when he told me. But Wait, he doesn't it in, know Dunder is it Mifflin. In Wisconsin? No, it's in oh. uh, Pennsylvania. Oh fuck yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Scranton. That's funny. Scranton, yes, the Scranton branch. Yeah, part of me wants to be like, damn, that like that white privilege kicking in, you know, on that on that half, on that mom half. But hold you on, know. you didn't finish. Are you getting any of that money, or I don't know about my mom is. And I don't know how much, but like my mom is like, like someone died or something in the family and there's like a trust being dispersed. So it's like, I don't, I don't know how much I really, I don't know how, I just know that there's like, my grandma's like, yeah, she called me at 1am by the way. <laughs> I was like fully like going to sleep. I wake up, I pick up the phone. I'm like, yeah. like by, by the way, your great, great grandpa like had like a million, millions of dollars or something. And I'm like, what? and I'm like, damn, like that's real. When your grandma said that you're getting a lot of paper. Are you sure she was talking about money? <laughs> yes. Okay. No, me. I don't even know if I'm getting anything. But how do you feel about it? Like, because that's that's random to you. Th- this, random as fuck. But it's huge. It's huge. It could. I don't know. Like, so I don't know. It could be huge. What that's the that thing. Mean? I don't know if it's like a weird sure. chain of like if certain people die in a specific order, which is a really like interesting phenomenon that my friend was telling about how like she has a rich friend who like has it charted out exactly who needs to die in oh what order God. in order for her to get the most money. Wow. Which is like a crazy concept. I don't know any any shit about that and I don't want to know anything yeah. about that but like the dying chain. The dying chain. It's like I like there is a chance that like at some point in my life I could just randomly be blessed with like a bunch of money and I don't know how much or how much it would affect Isn't me that but that's bizarre, like though? Cause, Yeah. Cuz kids that are born rich they would just popped out of vagina. They didn't know. They didn't know where they were coming. Yeah. Where they were going. It's that is random. You think it'd be lit to? I don't know if that's the right word to describe this. All right. <laughs> Wouldn't it be lit if all the people in my death chain died right now <laughs> I and I got all that paper? No. What would, what would be? Lit? I was gonna say it would be lit if you were rich and like grew up your kids like poor and then all of a sudden like they're like twenty and you're like yo. Check this shit out, and you, you got do a kickflip on top of a gold bar. Yeah, you do a money spread. <laughs> <laughs> like so, for parents, uh, so for someone who has like a, you know, a, a parents who have a bunch of money and are funding their like passion project, their dream. Does it depend on what the dream is for you guys? Like, if they um, if are they talented? Let's say they're like pretty talented at each of these, and they're like getting. They're improving, but it's not like they're like a prodigy. Oh, you have options for what so they're this, not, these talents are? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. They're yeah. not prodigies. They, they're they getting opportunities uh, not because they're talented, but because they were in the position to get those opportunities. Yes, and now because they, they have the freedom to be able to spend 30 hours a week practicing, that's yeah. why they're good. So they are talented, but they're not prodigies. Like us, none of us are prodigies. Mm-hmm. No. Like we probably had- None the, of y'all, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> n- none of Will and Caroline are prodigies, but we Will, we had the time. Sorry, I uh, thought I was Sammy for a second. No, you're good. Uh, I don't get it though. So me, uh, since I was just naturally, uh, not we me all had is the, actually my birth name, by the way. If you don't name these damn talents, <laughs> <laughs> okay. music I think is a big one. Is a good one. Or is a, bad a big one? one where I'm just sort of like, uh, if we're gonna be talking about you having a career, I'm gonna be mean and critical. And clearly you're not in a position to be 
criticized right now. You don't you don't think there are some tough some musicians with some tough hearts, if and some I, tough he- heads. If, if I told some person that you know, like you got to stop singing about Starbucks and you got to start singing about anything else. Do you think that person would be like, yeah, you're right. Or they'd be like, you just don't understand. Don't we now have inside jokes in the podcast. I don't know. That, uh, one member no, is was, not clear. Okay, that's, that's, that's not a, that's not that a good example. But I've met a lot of very talented young people that are like, I want to be a famous musician. I'm like, okay, you have to do this, this, and this. And they're like, I don't want to do that. I'm like, well, then you're not going to be successful, are you? Yeah. That's fair. But if they're but given at, opportunities. Cert- if they're given, and I think just like if you spent 30 hours a week genuinely just on any talent, in general, I think that you would, there's like a good shot unless you're like, just, it's just not meant for you. You know, if it's just, if you're just like inherently terrible at it or something, mm-hmm. like um, there's a good shot that you could turn it into a career after a few years, you know? If yeah. you spend your whole childhood tr- training to be a professional, then by the time you're like 17, you have like five mm-hmm. things under your belt that well, you're professionally that's, that's good at. Ki- that's, that's the thing, like there are some things that it could be like, they, they've been like a jazz, what about like a, like they're like a trombone player. And they've been like since sixth grade, <laughs> yeah, right? and they're like. Um, but you got to start at six. You can't start at sixth grade. That's too why late. Not? Any okay? Having seen a lot of professional young people, you start at like four. Those okay. are the those are the kids that come. I don't from, think I see a four year old picking up a damn trombone. No, I think playing piano they do. I piano think, because a, a, a that's like a instrument. Yeah, that, they they don't need to be able to. You have to have really good instrument. motor control of your mouth. Yeah, it's a lot easier to pick up something when when you're younger. But like you're saying, it is definitely not impossible to get to like a competitive level with with most things. Yeah, like, starting in middle school. Obviously, like basketball, you need a genetic gift. Like you need yeah. to be seven feet tall. Yeah. But there was this basketball player. I think his name is Siakam, and he started playing basketball. I think when he was like 19. Yeah. And now he's in the NBA. Mm-hmm. Like there is there are some avenue. It it's not totally hopeless for a lot of things. Like, I think if you do start in sixth grade, because I do know people, like, who started, like, yeah, I picked up uh, flute in eighth grade, and I guess I was really good, and yeah. I just kept going. Yeah. Is that talent? Well, I think it's a, it's a mixture of both. Like, you right. have the time to practice, and also there sure. is an innate talent there. But I think even without c- a considerable amount of innate talent, yeah. I think... Do you think you could be talented? Sorry, I cut you off. No, no, I just think if you work, if you work really hard, you can emulate some level of gift yeah i agree it inversely do you think that you can be talented without hard work like if you just are really naturally just like no good at something i don't i I really don't think you'll get far but probably not as far as the talented person who is working hard yeah you i you you have to do both because your brain isn't just like built like you're a baby and then all of a sudden you grow up and you're like i'm just i have all of the ability the mental capacity to do this thing incredibly well you do have to develop that skill Otherwise, you you won't. Another basketball uh, reference. Allen Iverson. I, uh, ooh, damn. Oh, Allen no, no. Iverson said that he never practiced mm-hmm. a day in his life. Yeah. And he had an infamous uh, interview where he was like, y'all talking about practice? Practice? Who's practicing? <laughs> <laughs> and he was in the NBA, too. And he was like six feet tall. So I, oh, I guess there's two different yeah. sides. Damn. Of this that's funny. But that is sports. That is lo- I guess there yeah, is a different. Because there are chess little chess champions that are like six years old that maybe they're not spending hours but they just have the brain for it yeah that that is true sometimes you do get freaks there's two freaks. sides yeah you're right there's the super talented person who just doesn't give a fuck and if they did practice they could be incredible but right now they're just like awesome yeah. and then you have the super hardworking, not talented person who will be awesome but maybe not be goaded yeah you know yeah but is it worth being exceptional it, it, in what regard that's um a good question i mean like if you are someone that's just talented and you're you could be goaded but you don't really want to be sh- yeah then is that valid like we're gonna like you be don't have the to best be, podcast on spot you don't have to be number one in, like are we okay with being like number 26 like best podcast no no i just mean in life like oh the rankings like are you okay with being number one in your class or number three 35 there like is, that's still super high on there's a huge the push to be exceptional i think in, in general to to you know what i mean yeah As i think that we need to be the best podcast well okay. uh, thank you for listening to, <laughs> we have to wrap things up oh we gotta wrap, really? the, we gotta wrap yeah. things up you didn't even talk about anything <laughs> i got the signal <laughs>
<laughs> Damn. We can't just keep I got going and like, three minutes like ago. edit it, edit it around. All right. Thank you for watching the Hypothetical Nonsense or listening to the Hypothetical Nonsense Thank podcast. I like that. Doing what? I promise you no one moved. No. I swear. Okay, thanks guys. Like and subscribe. Best friends today. Hypothetical nonsense.